hello viewers welcome to selenium web driver video in this video i would like to demonstrate about how to switch between different browser windows using web driver all right for this i have a small uh, html file right so in this web page i have say two web links when i'm clicking on this link what will happen is uh, the, a new page will be opened in a new window all right so what i will do is i want to enter something i will perform some operations in this space once i am done i want to switch back to my main window and perform a different operation in this main window say by example say clicking on yahoo or printing the title or whatever it is so how we can do this kind of operations like you know switch switching between two or more windows using web driver which i am going to demonstrate in this video Alright, so this is the sample code which I am explaining you in this video. Alright, as usual, we are creating a Firefox instance. After that, I am nav navigating to here this URL. I am putting some implicit weight. Alright, so after that, I am just clicking on this Google link. Once the Google page is opened, I am trying to enter some text like Selenium web driver in it in that text box all right so once i enter it i am closing the driver instance when i execute this code as it is which will report you an error saying uh, the set box is uh, not available all right so let me execute this and show you like which will throw you a no such element exception and i will demonstrate like you know i will explain how exactly we can overcome those that exception so I'm just executing it. Uh, Firefox instance got started, which clicks on Google link and which is trying to enter this value here, but which will throw you no such element exception. I will tell you the reason why. As you can see here, which returns you no such element exception. The reason behind it is uh, the reason behind it is as you can see this is my main base once i'm clicking on it the control goes to a different window but selenium web driver doesn't know that the control got uh, moved to google window and the control still remains in my old window only all right so in this window which doesn't have that text field right to enter to enter the search criteria so that reason which is complaint saying that the set box is not available so what we have to do is we have to make sure that the, the control flows to google and then once the control flows to google which can able to identify this object and enter whatever the criteria that you gave there all right so to do that what we are doing here is um, uh, let me explain you this code now So basically what I'm trying to do is each window is uh, be like you know each window will be having a unique identifier called windows handle all right the current window handle I am capturing in this variable which will return you a like you know all uh, it's a combination of uh, some unique key which is having both alphabetic and numeric all right so which is basically a string which I am capturing in this uh, variable all right so before going to the new window i'm just trying to print the title of the current page so basically what it is is i'm just printing the title of this all right so after that what i'm doing is i'm clicking on google link and once i move to the new link uh, so for example say you might be having multiple uh, windows uh, come up in your scenario right so each window is having a different windows handle so to capture all those windows handle what we are using we are using get windows handles method as you can see if it is a single window we are using get window handle method because if uh, in our scenario like you know we will be having multiple windows so that returns you multiple windows which is nothing but a collection so that collection in order to capture all those window handles i am using window 
a get window handles method and i am capturing those values into my collection string uh, string collection all right so in this for loop what i am doing is i am iterating through each individual each individual window all right to switch back to the new window what we have to use is we have to use this method driver dot switch to dot window and we need to specify the whatever the window handle as i told right so this will have one window handle and this will have a different window handle so what we have to do is in order to switch between this so we have to use the switch to method dot window of whatever the window handle of this space right so the same thing i am using here all right i'm just once i move to my new window i can capture the title of it so you can once the control comes to this google page or the whatever the window that you want you can perform whatever the operation that you want so here what i'm doing is i'm just capturing this title if the title is equal to google i'm just trying to print that uh, like you know title of that window and i'm just trying to enter something and after that i am closing the driver instance right so observe carefully now the control comes to google window but observe what driver that close will do here so i'm just running this script and uh, firefox instance got started click done google and which enters something which is very fast at this moment as you can see the google window got closed now all right but why my still uh, the main window is still remain same so what we have done here is the as you can see the switch dot window will at the end points to the google window and we are using driver dot close method all right so uh, what it has done is uh, which closes the google window but the last instance of the switch windows is rely uh, remains same right so for example say uh, again what i want to do here is say i want to pin the uh, main window as well like uh, like this all right so i want to print the title of it but which will complain saying here because now the control is in uh, google window once it is closed again i am trying to print the title which will complain now saying that because that the window got closed right so driver dot get title will throw you an error because the window or the google window is already closed let me show you that so that you will get a clarity as you can see which throws an error saying that no such element first which print this title all right and after that which print this google uh, title and after that when i say driver dot get title which shows no such window exception the reason being is at this point of time the control is with google window all right and we are closing it and selenium web driver doesn't know that which is closed and again when you try driver dot get title which will throw you this exception so what we have to do here is once that is closed we need the control back to the main window right so uh, we can do that as we are seeing here i am capturing the main window handle into this variable right so i want to switch back to the main window so what i'm using is a driver dot switch to dot window of whatever the main window handle i am giving here all right once that is done i am i am printing the title of that and after that when i use driver dot close method what it will do is which will close the main window as well all right so let me execute this and show you what exactly is we are doing here all right so i'm running this test and uh, firefox instance started as you can see google is opened which enters something as you can see here first i am printing the main page window after that i am printing the 
Google page title here and once that is done which closes the Google window and the control comes back to the main window using this statement switch to dot window and after that I am printing the main window title and closing the main window as well right so that's how we switch between different windows to re-summarize this uh, in order to capture the current window handle we have to use get window handle method and to store like you know collection of windows handles we have to use get window handles method all right once in order to switch between different windows we have to use driver dot switch to dot window and whatever the driver like you know we have to provide the whatever the browser handle associated with that window all right so that's all in this video thanks for watching this video please leave your comments about this video thank you